Hello, hello guys, this is Doc M, <laughs> didn't that chest look weird? And I'm playing on the Mind Cracker server. And guys, another project came my way I had to do because, yeah, I had the beacon built up completely. Um, I was working with the efficiency 5 pickaxe we, get from, we got from last time and I was clearing quite some ground over there. Um, wait, let's go. Uh, it's dark. You uh, can't really see it. I guess we have to look at it at daytime again. But yeah, huge area cleared out over there. Furthermore, I have to keep on going. But I was getting so much cobble and dirt that it was getting annoying. And I didn't want to stack up more and more chests here. And yeah, so I started on something. I will have a bulk storage system here for cobble and dirt. So I can quickly get rid of that and I'll show you where I made it. Right down here. This is where we formerly had our um, yeah, zombie drop up, uh, you know, pick up for the small XP farm design we had. And here is the chute now where we drop the villagers down all the way uh, to death uh, for our safety switch. Yeah, and I will have this wall of chests here. Um, this is um, trap chests and normal chests right next to each other, stacked on top of each other. We could even have more in here, but I think that'll do. If we fill that up uh, with dirt and cobble all the way, it um, should be fine for a while. Uh, the rest uh, I will just uh, then destroy. I mean, <laughs> yeah, can't, can't save it up all. And yeah, up here um, we have the setup. Um, this is a sorting cell. I was just about to finish it. Um, um, let me see. These hoppers are all um, stacked on top of each other. Let's look on, on the side, so quite a bunch of hoppers. I had to rip out some of the iron I used in the beacon already. As I said, it was completed and yeah, ripped out a, a bunch of it because I wanted to speed up the process here. Um, so as you can see, all these hoppers are facing into these chests. And you know, if you, for example, drop something up on top here, it will always be sucked down because a hopper that is below another hopper empties the inventory of a hopper on top. In this way, you will um, eventually have everything down here. It's locked right now because that is a trap chest and when I open it, it will lock this hopper. Or did it all fall? Oh, no, it was only this 26. Um, yeah, and then it divides uh, evenly into this chest here. So if you have an input up there, which we have, I'll show you. Our inputs will be here and over there for the bulk storage and what happens these hoppers here are all connected they're facing into each other they're all facing this way see this is going facing down and all these hoppers are connected to this one and uh, that means their uh, yeah, items will flow on top of these hoppers and as soon as something passes through it will be sucked out and yeah this system will yeah, gradually fill up and yeah on top we have these two chests here now um, this one, which contains a lot of dirt and cobble at the moment here, I wanted to make one. And this will be the two drop-off chests. You can toss stuff in either one of these, doesn't matter. But for symmetry reasons, I thought we will have two chests here. And yeah, you then you just drop off stuff. It will be sucked down by the hoppers and all be sorted in using these sorting cells um, that are yeah, ba pretty much the standard design. I need to watch out with my health. I um, wanted to set that up, so yeah, this you ne needs to be loaded um, with some items you don't want to sort and then a certain amount of items up in front and whenever um, the item comes by it will be sorted. I will have two of these, one for cobble, one for the dirt and then last but not least a row of hoppers flowing on top of that again to connect it from the chests here. So at the moment what was holding me back a bit was my iron supply, yeah, believe it or not. Um, the iron golem farm we made, I mentioned that last episode, it is fast, but it is not like super fast and we will drown in iron, especially if you have beacons and stuff to make. Um, so yeah, I was basically using it all up for the hoppers, plus uh, a lot of uh, the material I already used in the beacon. I repaired my tools twice using the XP technique last time and yeah, should be cool. These villagers, they're all still work fine. I got rid of this one blacksmith here because yeah we already have this fully unlocked one now and we don't need him to get pickaxes anymore. So let's see. Yeah, a little bit of iron was building up. Um, we need to make more hoppers. Maybe yeah this will be 
enough now. Let's see. Um, need to make some chests. Need to keep on working. And I will try to set up the sorting system to a point where we can say, uh, yeah, that thing works. Uh, kind of. So I'll be back in a bit and then we'll have a look at it again. Okay guys, I have the sorter setup finished so far and I think we're good. We can go with that. We can use pist no pistons here as we don't have to stack sorting cells right next to each other. And yeah, I programmed the sorting cells as well. If you look up here, we have four wooden bowls in each of these slots and there's six cobblestone sitting up in front. That means we want to sort out cobblestone. And I picked wooden bowls because nobody uses wooden bowls and could toss it into the system unintentionally. I mean, who uses mushroom stew? I don't think anybody really does. It has a lot of bowls around. And yeah, this is the filter for dirt set up in the same way and it's all connected. We have chests going um, down into the separate sides and now um, we should grab a lot of dirt from upstairs. I need to wait for some more iron um, so I can finally connect it but let's say let's pick a bit of this and that. Wait let me clear off my uh, crappy inventory. I need to, to gather a lot of wood all the time. Need that anyway, so it's not really a waste of time. Nothing is a waste of time. All these things we do here make sense because they help us. Because with all the stuff I have to store away, I need to bulk storage for it. And the digging is super fast. I will show you later on in this episode if you don't know how fast um, efficiency 5 and haste 2 digging actually is. It's pretty insane. So, yeah, all our stuff would here, this is the input, arrive somewhat um, around here and it would come from these two lines. So, I need about 10, 15, 20 hoppers or so max to connect it. But all our stuff would arrive in here and it would slowly be processed through the system. This is not made for hyperspeed. This is just um, yeah, for sorting out stuff. And yeah, now let's see. Um, at the moment, on the front row, we got dirt. So this should not trigger and we see nothing happening. Um, and we should see um, yeah, the dirt being sorted out by this cell and it's actually happening. You can see it's flowing through all these hoppers going down into our bulk storage system which is also connected by this wall of hoppers here. This is an overflow chest in case anything um, else gets tossed into the system. Oh, slime just died back there. That is yeah, not sorted. Um, all the other stuff we will find back here in case somebody tosses something in the chest unintentionally. Not getting destroyed or so for now. Later on I might have an overflow uh, attached to the chests um, if it's getting too much dirt and I won't want to store like insane amounts. And yeah, these cells, how they are set up, if you can see, this is um, yeah, a hopper facing into this comparator here and below there is a hopper that gets either locked or unlocked by a torch that is sitting below and this is leading into this chest, um, which is basically our transport line over there. And yeah, here you can see we check um, after a certain threshold is uh, reached, like if there is more than exactly six of the items you want to store and um, uh, four of each of the bowls here, the system will have enough power um, here from the comparator to power the redstone line, which then connects to this um, yeah, repeater, which then powers this torch and then uh, unpowers it and unlocks the hopper. This is how this sorting works. At the moment, I think, yeah, we have some dirt still running through the system. Um, it's good. Water systems are faster, um, but this system for our situation here is just fine. And as soon as um, the dirt has passed through the filter, there we go, we're done now. And um, yeah, it stops and the torch goes on again, locks this hopper and nothing will be sucked through. This is a, the basic sorting cell. Um, um, people are were using. Um, but yeah, always good to explain things in case you want to replicate it. Really simple. Build this cross down and over. Real easy to do. Oh, Paul joined. Need to say hi. Hey. So, okay. I'll try to uh, finish this here. Try to get it done. And then also need to farm some more iron. Um, I also did a lot of caving, by the way. Um, farm some iron 
for uh, the beacon again so I can demonstrate that to you and we can make some more progress but yeah if you go over there we can inspect it real quick and it's sitting on this pedestal now as I said it was completed I just uh, removed uh, basically the lower rim there um, around I think it's 9 plus 9 and then another additional 14 so yeah 32 blocks of iron, half a stack, um, we need to complete it again. Um, so yeah, digging out most of the stuff around here and yeah, I basically doubled the size in a short amount of time I was able to dig out. Here is all kind of caves I had to go through. Partially um, finished with them but have to go back in again. Um, I want to leave all these holes open before we flood with the water so we can go through again and yeah, go down into the caves and check if everything is lit up. That's uh, yeah, easiest to do. Here is a gigantic ravine I've been spending um, about an hour or so late lighting up. Um, this is the another way it extends. It is huge. Um, it comes from back there and it's everywhere. It's um, s multiple layers so it takes quite some time to do that. Um, anybody have any spare cent? No. So yeah, um, it's a lot of work. I'm trying my best, making progress here. And yeah, sticking with it. But yeah, with the... <laughs> there is no sand generators. Okay guys, so yeah, I need to keep on, keep on going. Um, we need to prepare our bulk storage and then sort everything over. Um, Hmm. I mean, it doesn't matter. I need to get the iron anyways. Here is some we we should we should quickly snag. Um, yeah, while we are at it, and yeah, down in the caves there was some iron too. I grabbed that as well, but it's still a uh, ways to go. And hopefully, B Dubs will be finished with the um, Nether Hub project soon, and he can come over here and help out a bit with the digging more. Be helpful quite a lot. We, at the moment we only have haste one over there as the beacon is partially disabled. Okay, here, yeah, hoppers will go below these chests. will not see them much and then that should be good. Also we have to make the to look, yeah, make this room look a bit more pretty. Mm. We'll put lighting on top here. We will not put another row of chests for now. Maybe have stairs there so it looks kind of cool cap it off somehow. Glowstone here, sticking out halfway. Yeah, I'll, I'll try it out. Uh, we get some materials together while I farm for the iron. Yeah, boys and girls, at the moment it is not really fun to do the YouTube stuff, I have to tell you guys. YouTube is once again really borky and is, is not making it easy for us content producers to keep it going. What kind of happens is um, the upload um, is completely messed up aside of other changes they do lately. For example, a new comment system. Um, I just saw, like whenever I reply to comments, I am marked as red now with a red color. I don't know if you have seen it in the comment sections and if you guys leave a comment, um, and also for me, the comment is right next to the name, which uh, looks for me like a crazy wall of text, you know. Um, I hope that it's just a transitional thing and they're changing things around uh, and uh, trying to sort the layout. I think the idea behind is save space, get more comments on one page. Um, that is my guess there. That is what their their plan is with it. I'm... <laughs> I have to say, I don't think it is really awesome. Um, makes things quite difficult sometimes to read. You know, if you're a guy, uh, if you run your channel like me, for example, and you like to read the comments actually and see it as a big part of, of your work and of your daily routine and have fun with it, kind of, I don't know, makes it way harder. And especially the upload times are uh, pretty bad. I'm kind of trying to explain what I'm doing at the moment. Um, it is like if you want to be involved, 
in the whole uh, Minecraft stuff, you know, in the Minecraft community and uh, want to be active and, you know, also have some, some fun with the guys. Um, well, most of us are US-based, B-dubs and the others, ESO, North America, you know how it, how it runs around here. And yeah, when I want to hang out with them, I have to stay up late and I enjoy that, you know, um, the shop and all these things. I want to uh, wanna be part of this uh, community and yeah, can only do that if I stay up late. But the other hand, um, if I want to release videos in time, I have to get up super early here in uh, my time again, maybe after four or five hours sleep, then get to work with producing the video because after the uh, over the last few days, um, it was uh, yeah basically ridiculous um, because a half an hour upload of video, for example, took six hours or whatever to upload and process and that is not related to my uh, internet speed or so that is related to YouTube um, just throttling their processing time uh, because they need their bandwidth for something else maybe for the changes they're doing or so so it's uh, really tricky um, but yeah that's why maybe you see in general a bit less videos for a lot of people not only my channel of course uh, because, yeah, things are a bit tricky at the moment with the YouTube. Still, of course, trying my best to provide the content. Um, but, yeah, I really have to choose what video I want to do. Because, yeah, while I'm rendering and uploading, um, I cannot really play, um, you know, on other servers also. Because, um, obviously, um, it's lagging while you upload. Uh, so, PvP I can't do much at the moment. This maybe answers the question some people might have had. Why is there not uh, so much PvP lately? Well, um, I really have to choose at the moment um, what to put up and set priorities. And, yeah, as we have the big projects here on the Minecraft going on and I just can't do it yeah, on, on the side. It really needs time to make this all these things we need for this witch farm and yeah, make it uh, bring it to life in a way we want to. So yeah, I have to yeah keep going here and so that's why you see a lot of Minecraft content um, which I know you guys are happy about but I really you know want to do the PvP and stuff. I also got a lot of people who enjoy that watching the PvP things on my channel. So yeah, it's a bit, um, it's mostly because of YouTube um, and well, if you do it for a while you kind of, you know, I mean YouTube does it all the time, um, so you kind of get used to it. Andrzej just joined, my Viking friend, Team DNA. We didn't have much time to do stuff lately as well. Um, same thing there, Andrzej um, is switching networks at the moment and the whole process of switching over is being more complicated than it should be. Um, very unnecessary delays there and all that. Um, but yeah, he's getting things sorted out and then we'll hopefully see more Team DNA um, content soon um, because yeah, I also really like to do some stuff with Anders. Okay, um, let's say we close it off here. I want to go for a little bit of a vault look down here but also have some, some decent walls with some color. Uh, continue our theme a little bit. Um, just want to make sure yeah, this call we just leave in. Okay. Yeah, and then I think I'm gonna put smooth stone at the rest of the places here. Okay, we just need some lighting in this corner. I think some torches would be nice here. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes this room basically finished so far. Now we just need to put in the hoppers and we might want to put some item frames here left and right to signify which side is what. And then we have the situation sorted out here. Way better now. Way better now. Okay, up here you might want to put some light in there and make sure it's really lit up. I, is, I know there is glowstone around, but nothing more annoying than some kind of a weird skeleton creeper or zombie spawning in here. With the lighting, better overdo it than be sorry later on. But yeah, looks good so far. Later on we will close that off here as soon as I have farmed enough of the iron to keep on going. And oh, there's lots of sugar canes for me to be grabbed. It's nice. It's also really nice that we can really easily get um, glowstone now. Just yeah, casually 
<laughs> grab it from the trading, which is also nice. That's a huge, you think you know how it is. You often, you know, you don't need ma huge amounts of glowstone, but you always want one short. <laughs> and then you have to go to the nether all the time, so we can skip that now as well. And that helps us most definitely. Okay, I'm gonna sort out some stuff and um, be back when I made some more progress here. Hopefully we have the beacon ready. I really wanna show you the, the fast mining and how cool that is, how much fun it actually is. All right, another thing I wanted to do, um, and yeah, you guys commented about it, don't always take potions from ESO and don't pay him. Um, well, guys, you know, there's payments, of course, going on. You don't see everything on a uh, camera. Um, but so to appease the people who think uh, ESO is getting exploited in the desk games, we will make him his own private uh, set of Silk Touch shears. I think he should be happy about that. Let's get more XP levels. Good sick touch tears, shears you can always use. Very helpful. So, okay, let's get a few levels going here. And let's see. Um, put the silk touch book on there. How much is it if you rename it? Yeah, okay. Ethos shears. Ethos. <laughs> Ethos. Shears. Okay. Okay. He should like them, so let's quickly rush back to his place. I have a chest with me. And then he can silk touch some cobweb and stuff. Hopefully he doesn't have one. I'm not 100% sure. But if not, well, not bad to have two then. <laughs> Maybe he could trade off one or so. We'll see, but I think it's a nice gift because we've, we've been using a lot of potions, um, basically only in the desk games, but every time I played desk games I picked potions and so far I only gave him one thing once we paid him and then I gave him some uh, armor and things, but yeah, that doesn't really count. We want to make it kind of official. So let's go over there and do this. So it's documented on camera, people are paying Ito for his shop. It's more like a donation thing. Hello, Avidia. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go there. Aha, uh -huh. that's the generic B. Oh, he's got his chest there too. Well, we give him a happy surprise as well. Okay, let's give him some shears. And let's put a sign on there. Oops. Come back to me. Okay. Uh, happy shearing <laughs> dog. Uh, no, 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 no. He might think it's just like that. We need to thanks for the potions, dog. All right, that should be all cool. That was his stuff now. And Iso is paid. You see that, guys? He is getting paid. <laughs> so, to make a successful perimeter, good caving needs to be done as well. And let me quickly repair Thunder and Lightning here. It will always cost 33 levels. Just managed to get them. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's check the underground, I haven't really done that in a bit. Um, let's say we go down there a bit and then check around. I mean, there's a lot of caving been going on around this place, but it has nothing, <laughs> yeah, nothing has been really systematic or so. So, yeah, let's just try something here real quick. Let's go down a little bit and we use some fence posts. And then we're gonna place some blocks against that. Okay, so we can have a quick look. Well, in the close vicinity. Oh, there's a spawner. Ah. <laughs> in the close vicinity, everything looks fine. Um, but still, for dedicated caving, here is a small dark spot. There, so yeah, there's a lot of work to be done, 
but we located a spawner. It's basically on top of my tunnel there somewhat. We could check that out right away. It doesn't look like somebody explored it yet. Seems to be a skelly spawner. Skelly spawner, it's right there. Hmm. That's actually pretty cool. Let me quickly get out of here and check that out. Okay, it was somewhere on top of this thing here. Okay, so let's say if we go up here and check. I need to grab some iron anyways. And yeah, so the caving situation, we have to really structurize that and scope it out at several locations with quick x-ray devices like the one I just showed you. Otherwise, it's pretty much impossible to do it. Um, another option is, and I might uh, do that as well, is grid through it at uh, different height levels and yeah, try to um, yeah, catch all the caves this way. We might have to do that uh, as well. Okay. Yep. Skelly dungeon. Ran right into it. Not a good way to approach, <laughs> approach it. Okay. But we won. Oh, there's another guy. Come here. Okay, and while we're here, we immediately light out the rest of this area. There's some iron here, yeah, and here's some caves to reconnect back. Nobody ever backtracked here, I guess, or why was it not lit up? But, yeah, what? <laughs> Two name tags, music disc, saddle, iron, good. Two more buckets. Sweet, we got a skelly spawner right below our base. Hmm. This is nicely situated. It's not how far are we down Y20. All right, I mean, why not use that? If you have it, why not use it? S additional XP grinding could be done from here. Huh, that's actually pretty neat. Okay, let's grab some of the iron. I need two more hoppers to complete the sorting cell. Okay, and here it goes into this place should be lit up halfway decent. That's also, you know, Anders went through a lot of these caves here. He speed cave he was speed caving here too, but I don't think he always lit everything up properly. But that is cool. So we found this spawner here that is nice to know. We have an easy access way to it. I mean, if we dig straight up we were right below our base. That is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, as it looked like in the close vicinity here, most stuff was caved out, which is um, actually pretty good. Let's scope one more time. Yeah, that's that spawner over there, pretty nice. Down there, there's lots of lava that looks lit up over there. Okay, let's check to the other side a bit. Wait, yeah. Let's do this. Um, put our fence post in here. Wait, why do I actually? Let me try something. Could increase our visual area, I guess. If you do this. No, not really. Okay, um, over there. There's another spawner there. This one looks explored. There's one right there. There's one right there. You can see the edge of it. It might be explored though. We don't know yet. Okay. Over there, there's a massive ravine where you can see partially lit up. Uh, well caving looks halfway decent. Um, I mean there has to be some detail work but other than that we should be fairly alright. Okay so here this is a connection line that goes over. I'm, I'm thinking this dungeon over there is rated for sure. But we might have to double check on it to be actually really sure. So 
it's just over there. Okay, let's quickly check that. If that is not rated yet. Um, we should be able to get there again if we dig over here. Okay, let me try to locate that thing and I'll be right back. Yeah, it's one we had discovered already. Okay, so, but um, now we got a decent overview of the situation down here. Um, we learn um, there has some caving has to be done still, but overall it looks pretty decent already. And we should see, yeah, first results if we make this uh, the setup for the um, witch farm. So it's not totally in vain to build it all and yeah, then we have to go caving and be frustrated. We should see not extremely uh, good spawn rates, but we should see some spawns definitely. It's good news. Okay, I'm getting back up. I'm trying to get the rest of the materials I need to finish the build project for today, which is the bulk storage room. Already started to transfer some stuff over into that because one chest is already hooked up to it. And yeah, soon both will be and we shall see some nice clean up around the area. Swim, 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 swim. Ah, we made it. All right. Dog shop. <laughs> that is my tune. Beef sang that in one of his episodes. And please, guys, it would be so awesome if someone can make a remix for that and maybe put it down on the Reddits or so, so I can actually find it. That would be so awesome. So yeah, I adjusted the prices here a bit. Um, now we're charging 32 clay blocks only. Um, so far, no sales. Not too many people were on since we changed. Also, the market is saturated at the moment with pickaxes. So. Uh, Access. Excuse me, excuse me, I said it again. So I need to definitely change the trade there soon. I'm thinking about something shiny like diamond chest plate. How about that? I think people will like that. We need to think about a good price for that. You could su suggest something. So we need clay around our base. Clay is at the moment in high demand, of course, but uh, the market will be uh, free again when the build here is partially finished or yeah, almost finished. Um, what else do we need? Sand. We could also charge sand. If we charge sand uh, for diamond chest plate or yeah, things like that we can need around the base here. Uh, give me some prices you think that would be fitting and then we figure out a, um, yeah, a good way to, to make some more uh, cash around this place. So right now I have the sorting system running. Okay. At the moment we're sorting, we're sorting the dirt over here. Okay, and the chests below should be filling up. Um, the room down there is finished now, closed off the wall. And here we go, rugged it out. This is how a decent basement should look like, I'd say. Lots of storage here and yeah, the chests are filling up like methodically, starting on this side and will then fill up all the way to back here. And I think for now, that should be enough storage space for dirt and other stuff. Later on, I said I will make a security system here overflow. Um, right now we just have this chest. Later on I will hook it up to a, yeah, a detector system. And after a certain amount of items is in there, it will start to dispense items. So in case you toss something in there you want to keep, um, you can think about it for quite a while and still get it, but it will never completely fill up the system and eventually will be gone. I think this is how I will do it. Yeah, the chests are connected right now. It seems we have this one flowing. Okay, just need to double check ever so often if you make things like that. Everything works out fine, but it should be just cool. Okay, let's check. Yeah, dirt sorting is going on. These are the hoppers that are sucking in items. Here is dirt. Okay, and this one is full at the moment. This is why the other chest is not being um, yeah, processed. But yeah, you can see dirt is going through the first slot here all the time. And at some point when yeah, we have the most of it in there, the system will be really stable. And um, right now it is stable already. Um, it, um, it's not made for yeah, bulk input, like real massive quantities, talking about full double chest after double chest after double chest. It's the moment you come back, dump your inventory in there. By the time you come back again, everything will be sorted. That is kind of the plan. And yeah, now all that is left 
to do is wait a little bit until we have enough iron. I might do a bit of caving in the meantime. And then we can finish the super beacon. And then, um, yeah, we are ready to high efficient <laughs> to go high efficiency mining which is pr really nice and then that is a kind of a yeah a cut i want to do because then we finally have everything in place to really make faster progress there as you see as you saw over there just in a few hours i was able to clear way more land and now we have the xp to fix our tools we have everything set up and now we should be up and running in a short amount of time which is awesome so see you in a little bit when we have finalized our beacon, these few iron blocks there, half a stack, we will get them. Okay, uh, we're here with Doc, and we're gonna nether hunt. There is spawned blazes everywhere <laughs> in what? the nether hub. No way. Uh, no, come, on, come in here and look to your left, okay? No way. <laughs> now go in and look to the left. This is my little hut. Are they <gasps> still there? Oh man, oh man, there's lots of them. The, the, are they spawning again? Oh, right. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go back and get some fire resistance stuff. Is this a po is this a fortress? Uh, yeah. I, I built yeah, it well, in the middle. Yeah, well, Told me to get some fire resistance stuff. Well, of course you will get a place in here. Oh crap! Oh yeah! crap! Get out! <laughs> no, no, no! no. Yeah, can we, can we make me have water? It lasts for like one second. There we go. Oh no! What? They fixed it? That will not work. Don't stop me in my tracks. I need to go to the to the hub right. and heal up. Uh, <laughs> I thought I thought water lasted for like 0.1 no. seconds, and that <laughs> fixed that. I'm pretty sure I saved uh, generic B last season yeah. and ultra hardcore by doing that. But oh. I, I'm going to Ethel Corp and grabbing some oh, stuff. Oh man, and, yeah. And then yeah, we'll bring me a fire resist too, please. How did that even happen? Like yeah, because they, you you in the oh, in the Nether fortress. Yeah, I I thought the uh, well the entire hub is in the Nether fortress essentially. No. Yeah, it is. The entire, like, third dome that <laughs> myself, generic, and someone else is in. So, <laughs> that was a great idea. I need to get in there with cobble quickly and just coat everything. Yeah, you put half slip so they can't spawn. Yeah, I need to get the... I need to get lots of it. I was like, you underground there, or...? Could be. <laughs> for me, you look alright. Wait, I'll, I'll relog in a sec. So, we just need a bit of fire resist here from yeah. me. So, hey, I just paid him well. I gave him a um, silk touch shear. Who's happy with that? Oh, well, yeah. So I think I we should be cool to take some. I'll get a regen and uh, where's the fire resistance at? I think over here. Yeah, here's some fire resistance. Uh, Eight I'll minutes. Give him, I'll give him some diamonds soon. We only need one, right? Yeah, one should be cool. That should be enough. <laughs> what the oh. heck, man? Blaze in oh, the nether hub. I almost fell through Ether's wiring due to lag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Eric was in there and he was like, there's blazes everywhere. And I was like, no! And especially in my tunnel where everything is made out of wood. <laughs> How does that yeah. happen? Things might have been burning down. They were shooting and some, some things yeah, caught fire. Well, I don't know if it was clay or we'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna, I was in the process of just putting cobble. Oh, man. But this is what happens, you know, when, oh. when you build, build a fortress. Wait, let me quickly heal up here. Okay. I'm full. Oh man, uh, do you have cobble? Uh, I think I have two stacks on me, maybe. Okay, then better make uh, some half slabs and then we go in there and slab oh, it out so we I, no, make it I safe. I have no cobble. I deleted all of it. Not <laughs> deleted. Uh, is there any resources in here that we can snab? I mean, I have a lot of cobble at my place. Wait, I'll come back with half slabs. Be no, right I'm there. So okay, I'll wait here and you. Yeah, I'll catch you there. Sure. See you in a sec. Yeah, okay, we got half slabs. Mm -hmm. We Let's ready? Chuck a potion, go in there. All right, you ready to choke? Here we go. Okay, let's go. Right, let's go and kill them and see what we got. Well, free blaze rods, I guess. Holy <laughs> crap. Oh my god, no, my tunnel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, I'm going to poke out the fires. Yeah. Is, is there any, any, any more around? I don't know, but... Oh, oh snap. Oh. Everything is on fire now. As we came in, it updated. Uh, quick, uh, quick. Well, at least it didn't kill. I haven't really like got all of this done, but uh, I guess... Where would you think the blazes would be spawning? Oh, well, oh, everywhere here. I hear them. Everywhere, yeah. So everywhere. You need to light it up. Light it up would, uh, do, would do good for now. I have no torches, but um, I do. So are we going to... Here, we, here, grab we, this stack. Nice. We don't need to half slap it if it's only this enclosed area. Lighting up should fix it for now. <laughs> wow. I well, can hear some on top. Yeah, luckily that was a lot later than... I'm gonna go up top and see what's up. 
Because there is a oh, lot, lot th more here. There's still fire. <laughs> is it coming back? I think it's gonna. It could also be that there's some lava close by and some yeah. holes and it catches over that... Why, I hear fire sounds all the time. Why do I hear fire sound? It is the nether. <laughs> uh, but the no. entire upper area is also a nether fortress, so there's gonna be more <laughs> here. Like, I think this should have been put in a, a little note saying, Hey guys, we're building in, a, in the middle of a nether fortress. I yeah, have no doesn't, idea. Doesn't the floor look like nether fortress to you? Yeah, yeah, I know, but I thought it was <laughs> already. Um, what is my best bet here for like protecting my light? Uh, light. Well, yep. that do for now. Light and close off uh, gaps and half slapping, of course. But yeah, just have enough light and you should be fine. And I can just cobble all the end of this, and that yeah. should be. Well, that wasn't too bad of a catastrophe. I mean. No. I so thought we had to half slip out all a region or yeah. something, but uh, this way, this this is easy. Yeah, okay. To, uh, that's all my gear. But as long as. If anybody is building in the green area, then just let. <laughs> I wonder. If, I wonder if it's like in the other areas as well, or is it just? I have no idea, but here it should be fine. We have light. Everything is, you know, half slipped out and stuff. Nothing can happen. I'm just okay. Gonna oh. But thank God, crisis averted. Right? Yeah, crisis averted. Who place in the hub? <laughs> Talk on power received today. <laughs> thank <laughs> us via diamond donations at our training post. No problem. <laughs> All right, bro. See you See later. Ya. Bye. All right. The storage room down here is finished now. I have my item frames there. And yeah, the machine is still working, I think, a little bit. This is all full of dirt up to here. And this one is getting filled up. And here, this is cobble up to here. They're still up in the sorting chests. A uh, bunch of material, uh, but yeah, I was able to clear out the area here. Look at that. Ah, this ugly wall of 22 chests here, or 11 double chests, is finally gone, and it's all reduced to that now. I have two item frames here too, which signify, yeah, you can toss stuff in here or there. Doesn't matter. I just wanted to have uh, no, not two item frames here. Looked a bit weird. Uh, so yeah, one is cool, but yeah, it doesn't matter where you toss stuff in. This is still full and this is almost completely processed yeah and i was scraping together all my reserves and i think i lost my boat over there before need to fill in a bunch more boats in the boat dock system here we made last time um but yeah i got these five emeralds and if you look over to our beacon you can now see the top portion made of emerald, uh, exactly five emerald blocks are missing. Then we have nine plus 25 emerald blocks uh, in there already. Eventually, this full beacon will be emeralds at some point, of course. It would be cool and we can reclaim the iron for other projects if you want to work with some pistons soon. Maybe a nice XP farm or something, you know. Iron is better, uh, yeah, always needed, so better use it for something else. It's a lot of iron trapped in there at the moment. And the farm, by the way, is not uh, running AFK when nobody is here. Only, uh, I think, B-Dubs is it who loads it. When B-Dubs is around, then the thing is running. Other than that, nope. So we cannot just farm uh, yeah, iron constantly without doing anything. Okay, uh, haste 2. Yeah, that's what we pick here. Haste and then haste 2. Boom. Okay, we got haste 2 activated now. And yeah, now let's go to town with thunder and lightning, so you guys can actually see the speed of that. Just wanted to demonstrate that to you, to end the episode. So this is how you mine with efficiency 5 and haste 2. <laughs> it is faster than creative mode, I would dare to say. It is super fast instant mining, and with that, um, yeah, we can make fast progress. Yeah, so I guess from now on I can focus on the digging basically. Hopefully it'll make for some good episodes. Maybe if I find some time I will try to do a digging with dog live stream on the weekend. But please guys, I can't promise yet there is some stuff going on on the weekend. Um, also, yeah, girlfriend and things need to be taken care of so i can't promise 100 percent but i will try and now yeah we are really set up here and the instant mine is <laughs> awesome look at that boom 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 taking care of stuff that needs to be filled in here 
and so on. We'll keep on trucking. Here is another hole that lets down to a cave. I think I can close it up. By now I lit up most of the stuff. That's it for today. I'm out. See you next time. Bye bye. Fail in the end. Here we go. Hehehehe. <laughs>